Red the Pikmin Master here, back with another video. I'm sorry I didn't. Sorry, apparently on baby. Good lord. I'm sorry I didn't stream today. Um, yeah, I got distracted. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, no stream today, but I will get this video up at the very least. That's something I can do. Um, I wanted to make this video a while ago, but my computer broke, so I didn't get to make it. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, as always with any video I make uh, that's like this, there's not an attack on specific people. Now, granted, some people have brought light to the issue for me, but I'm not gonna like point names or anything like that. This is a general thing because everyone is at fault for this, I feel. <laughs> uh, or not, not literally everyone, but a lot of people. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to discuss it because it's annoying and it doesn't stop. So I'm just ranting on it because it's ridiculous that it's still a thing that uh, that gets complained about. Um, so what? I don't know. Every time there is some kind of issue, what's not every issue in the world that has is related to this, but I'm just gonna list an example. Let's say um, I talk about the fact that people have <gasps> excuse me. People are very um, sensitive about politics, or just don't like politics, or whatever. Um, or they're too passionate about <clears throat> politics. Um, hold on a second. Go away. Hold on a second. <clears throat> anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, just had to take a look at something. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Like, let's say if someone is um, sensitive about. <laughs> God, I love yawning. Yawning is love. Yawning is life. Could this please stop? <laughs> Thank you. Let's say someone is. I'm um, just, I don't know, whining about politics or whatever. Um, this is a weird example, but, or not a weird example, this is just one example. I'm sure there's other things you could find to uh, relate to this, but anyways. Um, what will happen with that, at least, uh, what happened for a while, and apparently still happens from uh, time to time, is people will go, um... Man, people really like complaining about politics in the Ori community. People like doing this in the Ori community. Can like I've already sung my praises about complaining with the Ori community, but that this goes beyond that. You are quite naive if you number one like like you're quite naive if you think that only the Ori community does the things that you talk about because let me tell you you go to any other community it's going to be the exact freaking same <laughs> and i'm referring to big like bigger communities like communities that have a name to them <laughs> not um just literally anything um just i don't know any community that's bigger <laughs> um People like really going like blaming like putting a ton of blame on the Ori community for like um, being so sensitive about this or doing that. And don't get me wrong, there's definitely problems in the community. I've seen it, and I mean, people, y'all gotta improve yourselves, not being so attention seeky and all that jazz. However, um, it is not just the Ori community. It does not matter where the heck you go, you will encounter the same issues. So I mean. <laughs> You can avoid the Ori community all you want, but other communities do the exact same thing. So you ultimately are trying to avoid a problem that's not possible to avoid unless you are literally not on the internet. <laughs> so like, why, what's the point? <laughs> like making these comparisons, like saying, 
the Ori community does this. They're notorious for this. Well, let me tell you something. Other communities are notorious for the exact same things. It's not anything new, sister, brother, whoever you are. <laughs> it is not any different, no matter where you're going to go. I mean, you, you're going to have it in real life, too. <laughs> Freaking, uh, it's not as much of a problem probably in real life with certain issues obviously but um regardless freaking it's not just the ori community i'm just why just let me ask why do you always associate one problem with the ori community when literally other communities do the exact same thing i mean you may as well at that point say in the ori community and the tf2 community and all the in this other community like it's you're not gonna just run away from these issues in one community um by going to another you're gonna find them that they overlap quite a bit the main one i see that overlaps is attention seeking because god there are so many everywhere it's ridiculous um, I don't know, it's annoying, it's, cause I would like, well number one I'd like if that wasn't something I'm constantly seeing, but like we already discussed that, but I would also like if people would not act like only the Ori community does stuff like this, because that's not true, <laughs> freaking People treat it like it's the devil. Treat it like it's the worst thing. When in reality, every community has the same problems. No, and not every, like, but a bunch of communities have the same problems. It's not a case of, I'm just gonna run from this, from the Ori community, and then hope to go somewhere else and not have it. No, I meet plenty of jerks and other people, regardless of where I go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, there are many problems, and I, I say that from being in different communities, by the way. I'm not just being oblivious. I've been in other communities, and I see that issues overlap qu quite a bit. <laughs> there are similar issues I see in one community to the next. Now... Does that necessarily ruin a community for me? Um, no, because I mean, if there's an attention seeker or whatever in one community, unless the community is literally, um, unless like I don't have people I enjoy in said community, then like I'm probably gonna huddle in there still because it's nice to be there, I guess. I don't know. Ultimately, I just want people to not act like the Ori community is the only one who has said issue, that they're the only one who's notorious for it. Cause, freaking, it just makes it feel like they're looking for an excuse to complain about the Ori community. That's my problem. And it's like, okay, do you really have that big of a grudge with it? <laughs> to even bring it to that, even like, pour down issues on it, like it's the only one that has this problem. So, I don't know. That's, one thing I wanted to discuss in this video, this thing I wanted to bring up. I was going to bring these in separate videos, but honestly, both of these can fit um, in a video. They're not like really related to each other, but I don't want to make another video for this. I just want to go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to make another video for this. I just want to get out of the way. <laughs> uh, parents. I'm not going to get into every issue on that. I'm going to talk about one specific thing today. And it's a problem that I keep, that I've seen in a friend that I've met recently. And I'm honestly thinking, how common is this elsewhere? You have got to let your kid be a kid. If they are not like in adult range, you have got to let them enjoy the life that they have as a kid. You don't need to treat them like adults, at least not until they're like, in my opinion, at least 16, because at that point, um, prepare for them. And uh, like, as I've, as I've said before, slowly build your kid up to adulthood. Don't literally rush them into it the moment they're 12 years old or something. I don't know, I'm just listening to animation. <laughs> um, let them be kids. Let them have their fun. Let them relax and, I mean, yeah, there's schoolwork and things like that, but aside from that, don't rush all these responsibilities on them like that. Just ease them into it. Over their growing up, slowly 
add things on. And even then, don't tile too much because we're human beings and we're gonna burn out a lot easier the more you give us. So let us digest it slowly over time since we have years ahead of us before we're 18. Um, you have got to allow your kid a balance, not literally give them work like tirelessly, especially if they're not passionate about something or not, they don't really have to be passionate if they're literally not enjoying something like I don't know let's aside from school because I mean unfortunately we got to do there's some things we have to do that we won't enjoy but I'm talking about things like extra activities or whatever don't force them to do stuff they don't want to do if they have the option because <laughs> you're just you're not exactly allowing them to have well, a good childhood. <laughs> I'm just being real. You gotta let them be a kid. Let them have fun or whatever. Do things that they want to do, I guess. Obviously, within reason. I'm not saying literally let them do whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm obviously not a parent, but... Do I need to be to remember this simple phrase, all, all work, no play is a terrible idea? No, I do not, <laughs> because as said kid who had so much work to do this year, and I'm fine, and I finally got a chance to drop it all for the summer to get a rest, because I've been horribly burnt out. <laughs> um, thank God. As someone who's been through not necessarily all work no play, but like so much work to where I'm just burnt to the to the crisp, like to the freaking bone. Um, yeah, I happen to know that you need a break sometimes or heck you just need to be a kid again to have some fun to do something that's relaxed and something that you want to do rather than having to make it work 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 day in and day out you have to have a balance you have to have vacation a break something and that doesn't necessarily mean doing family activities that also means having time for yourself <laughs> Um, either or, there needs to be a balance to everything, really, I guess. Um, because, I mean, as fun as family activities are, I have fun with them. Having time alone is also nice, because you get to just breathe, and think, and do stuff. <laughs> um, but regardless, uh, borderline, the bottom like line of it I, I i don't know what word to put there I, my brain exploded there <laughs> let them be kids let your kids be kids you not treat them fully as adults giving them these like really hard responsibilities thinking like they're freaking 18 and they're about to get out of the house they have years ahead of them before they're 18. let them i don't know enjoy their time as a kid don't treat them as a straight up adult like, when they're not even adults, they haven't learned, like, everything you have, number one. Obviously, you learn that from experience, but, like, they're not even in, like, let's say you are 12. I assume you're not even in high school or middle school, <laughs> whatever. You've got to let your kid be a kid. You cannot push them, like, so hard, like, freaking slap them in the face with a bunch of responsibilities that they're literally not ready to handle. Because at that point, they're going to have a ruined childhood because they're not going to have, they wouldn't, they're going to miss all the opportunities they had to be a kid to just enjoy it. So that way, whenever they do grow up to, I will say my age, 20, <laughs> um, they won't be able to have those times anymore because they're going to be focused on getting work done and preparing to be an adult. A, a, like adult with um their own living space and all that jazz not just an adult not like literally just 18 like even when you're 18 like you should be given time to prepare all the necessary needs for that not literally just rushed into it <laughs> and not able to do anything um because i don't know about um i don't know about any of the kids whatever but like can they can we please have more parents giving ki letting kids be kids and more parents treating their kids with love and care and not supposedly love and care 
<laughs> because this is not acceptable. It is not, it is unacceptable just seeing the amount of parents not giving love and care to their kids. You had the kid, you birthed them, now show them some love because that's what they need. They don't need you hounding them with all these responsibilities. They need you to love them, to allow them time to, to themselves, with you, whatever, to be a kid. They have the schoolwork, okay, that's fine. But besides that, and whatever else, I guess, they need to be a kid. They need to be allowed to be a kid, to just relax. I mean, even as adults, we need to be allowed time to rest. Because, um, I don't care if there's so much work to be done and whatever, we need to be allowed to have some rest from time to time because we're not going to be proud to serve your company or whatever. If we're not allowed that time to rest, you gotta have a balance, okay? Because it's not gonna work otherwise. It's going to, excuse me, fall apart. <laughs> Especially for them, it'll lead to unhappy employees. This video isn't about that though, I'm just speaking generally I guess. But ultimately, please let more kids be kids and please show them that love. And if you're gonna do tough love, don't be too hard with your tough love because that's not gonna work out. <laughs> Tough love, and also tough love doesn't need to be tough all the time. You can literally just give regular love. <sighs> I'm running out of ways to say this, so ultimately, let kids be kids, please. Um, this is the problem with not having a script, but you know what? I don't care, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about. Just two issues of don't freaking treat Oricor like the enemy. Oricord, sorry. Ori community. <laughs> I don't know why I said Oricord. It's not even just Oricord. <laughs> yeah, but don't treat Oricord like it's the only thing that has said issue that you're pointing out because let me guarantee there's other communities that have it. So don't put Oricord like it's. I keep saying Oricord. God. Ori community. <laughs> I'm so used to saying that. <laughs> Ori community. Don't treat it like it's on some pedestal of bad. Like it's the worst community you've ever been in or whatever. I mean, that might be the case, I guess, but like, um, don't treat it like it's the only community that has these issues. Because it's not, I can promise you that. It, there's definitely diverging issues. Issues that merge onto other communities. And then finally, let your kids be kids! Don't treat them fully as adults! Do not treat them as adults whenever they're trying- when they just want to have fun and be a kid. Let them be kids. When they are 18, or when they're, I don't know, in my opinion, when they're 16, that's when you should start, I guess, letting them know what's gonna happen going up, to, like, whenever they're 18 or whatever. And then when that comes around, give them time to prepare themselves. Because, I mean, ultimately, I would definitely recommend gap year after you're done with high school. I didn't do that. Um, I should have, <laughs> because. God, I regret it, but whatever. <laughs> Allow them doing that. Don't just literally whisk them right away into college or whatever. I mean, freaking, if you think that, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna keep rambling. Anyways, that's all. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you later.